Greetings from Mazmak Fortress in Riyadh. I stand atop one of the turrets overlooking the mid-afternoon's hustle and bustle in Clock Tower Square. No chop-chop today, which would have compelled me to seek a quiet corner inside and out of the holy noggin-baking desert sun. I could almost light my lotus leaf afire just pressing it to the stonework. Let's divine a soccer score and then retreat from the heat. <sighs> and I now once again travel through space and time. Whee! My eyes open, and I still sit atop the fortress. But I am out of space and time. It is nighttime now. But even so, there should be some foot traffic below. Silence. As if the only ones here are me and... <gasps> the Pillsbury Doughboy! His knowledge and understanding of the universe and other dimensions of existence is said amongst my kind to have virtually no bounds. I have never expected to reach a point in my lifetime where I could meet him in this dream expanse or the real world. Every complex question I ever thought of asking him is driven right from my head. He looks at me, ever grinning, yet infinitely patient. What wisdom would you share with me, great philosopher? Who well, nothing says love like my crescent roll? I told you his grasp of the universal infinite was unmatched. Doughboy, what message do you wish me to carry back to the waking world? Pillsbury crescent rolls make an ordinary dinner extraordinary. It shall be so, learned one. I can't believe I'm asking this. Is the answer to the soccer score I seek? <laughs> Instead of scolding me for my impudence, his grin remains unchanged. He looks up at the crescent moon. My gaze follows his. It fills my vision as if surrounding my mind until I am blissfully blinded. I wake. Noob, the crescent moon, a primary religious symbol for Islam, of course, appears seven days and seven nights either side of a new moon. The score shall be seven to seven. I have seen and I have spoken.